Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to be talking about what is an IP address and the different types of IP addresses currently we are using. An IP address is similar to a home address. Just as you provide your house address to a food delivery driver to ensure they deliver your food correctly. In the world of networking, an IP address serves as an identity. This identity allows computers and mobile devices to communicate with one another, whether they are sending a file or messaging via social media apps. All these interactions are considered data deliveries over the network. An IP address is the unique identifier that enables users, whether from the internet or a local network, to reach you. In this example, an internet user employs the IP address 1.2.3.4 to access the internet. Meanwhile, a local user uses the IP address 192.168.1.1 to connect to devise us within the local network. The IP address most commonly in use today is version 4. While many of you may have heard of IP version 6, I will explain deeper into IPv6 in our next video. IPv4 was first introduced in the 1980s, marking over four decades of its use. It employs a 32-bit addressing system, allowing for up to 4 billion IP addresses. When it was created, the architects of IPv4 couldn't have foreseen the explosive growth of the Internet. In the 1990s, they believed 4 billion addresses would be sufficient, especially since mobile devices and Wi-Fi were not as ubiquitous as they are today. The limitation of IPv4 is a primary reason for the introduction of IPv6, designed to address the current shortage of IP addresses. Due to the shortage of IPv4 addresses, network engineers developed a solution called private IP addressing. The idea behind private IP addresses is to enable hundreds or thousands of devices to communicate with each other locally. Private IP addresses are categorized into three different classes, each supporting a different number of IP addresses within the same network. So class A starts with the number 10. This class is typically used for large organization. Class B starts with 172. This is typically used for medium size organization. Class C start with 192. This is used for small or home network. So, don't get surprised if you are using 192 networks in home, and this is the class mostly used. Under IPv4, a maximum of 4 billion devices can be connected to the internet. However, with the growth of modern technology, there are over 20 billion devices in circulation, including smartphones, watches, tablets, and IoT devices. Private IP allows the same address to be reused across different organizations, but private IP addresses being non-accessible from the Internet and designated mainly for internal use. If these devices wish to connect to the Internet, they don't need a unique public IP address. Instead, hundreds of devices can be represented by a single public IP using a technique known as Network Address Translation, NAT. With Network Address Translation, when data from private IP addresses reaches a router and is about to be sent out to the Internet, the router automatically converts all these private IP into a single public IP address. You may wonder how the private IPs can be converted through one public IP for Internet access. This is achieved through a slightly more technical setup called Port Address Translation. I won't delve into the intricate details of how Port Address Translation functions in this explanation, but we will explore it in the next video with a more technical approach. If you wish to find the private IP address on your local device, for Windows, enter ipconfig into the command prompt to obtain IP details. For macOS or Linux, enter ifconfig in the terminal to access IP information. To determine your public IP address, you have two primary options. First option, access your router's interface or settings to view the public IP. Option 2, open a web browser 
and visit IP Info to retrieve your public IP address. So to summarize the differences between private and public IP addresses, private IP addresses are introduced as an IPv4 solution to address the shortage of IP addresses. These addresses are non-unique, allowing them to be reused within any organization's private network. Typically, these addresses are automatically assigned by internet routers. Since private IPs don't directly communicate with the wider internet, they're shielded from many external threats. Public IP addresses are unique and serve as the primary identifiers for device us connecting to the internet. Security attack is one of the biggest challenges since they are accessible to any online user. Employing firewalls can mitigate potential internet-based attacks. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.